Доброго времени суток, дамы и господа. Продолжаем проходить Metal Gear Solid. Остановились мы вот на этом моменте. Что ж, шеф Дональд, как его то там, блин, погиб у нас. Шеф Дарпы. Якобы от сердечного приступа, но и вел у себя крайне подозрительно. Так, и на заднем фоне происходит какая-то непонятная движуха. Кого-то убивают. А вот мы, в принципе, по радару можем посмотреть, что там происходит в эту маленькую щель. Что там такое? Кстати, шеф... Блин, как его звали? Тональд... Блин, Тональд какой-то дал нам карту первого уровня. И это, кстати, достаточно подозрительно, потому что... Вот эта дверь... Подождите, это я открыл дверь? Или нет? Кто-то мне открыл дверь. Сейчас мы посмотрим, какого уровня эта дверь, потому что мне интересно, почему он с картой первого уровня находится в камере. Это очень странная, конечно, ситуация. И по радару мы видим, кто-то находится... Он там вот стоит, блин. Думает, нас не видно, блин. Думает, мы не видим его. Ну что ж, ладно. Бывай, готовность. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Опаньки. Начинается экшон. Нас пытаются остановить. Так. Like you, Пошел прогресс. Нормально. Так, сколько их там интересно? Давайте их рукопашно сейчас отметим. Ах, вот соки, блядь! Во, вот так можно, точно. Ну, давай, вставайте. Да нет, не совсем лучшая идея, но, конечно, можно, можно. Так, туда спрятаться почему-то нельзя. Патроны падают. Слушай, забеги, откуда забежал, блин. что то она стоит тупит, блин. Приходится все самому делать. Так. Патроны. Забавно, меня ни разу не ранили все еще за эту, так скажем, бойню. Ну, где они? Опаньки. Так. Гранаты пошли. Блин, сколько сюда человек уже забежал? Человек 20, наверное.
Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Так. Вот такие вот дела у нас, значит, начинают происходить. Какая-то вот эта тетка из камеры раздела охранника. Забрала все его вещи. Да, вот такая вот фигня. Блин, была бы графика чуть получше, был поинтереснее. Конечно, ладно. Так, что у нас под кроватью в ее камере? Давайте посмотрим. Абсолютно ничего. Кстати, видели вот эту вот катсцену, которую сейчас показали, где на заднем фоне там шефа Дар попытали и сказали то, что он умер. Ну, не умер, да, убил он, сказал вроде. Тогда, черт возьми, мать вашу, кто это такой сейчас был? Явно не шеф Дарпа, скорее всего, это тоже один из членов Фоксаунда. При брифинге нам говорили, что есть мастер маскировки Декой. Как его? Октопус, блин, не помню, как он правильно произносится. Вот, скорее всего, он это и был, блин. Даже под конец нашего с ним диалога он начинал какие-то вопросы нам подозрительно задавать. Вот. Такая вот фигня. Психомантис, видимо, тоже во всей этой движухе замешан. Так. Давайте осмотрим территорию, что у нас тут имеется. Подождите, а какого уровня была дверь, мне интересно? Она открыта, непонятно. Если они первого уровня, то это действительно подозрительно, потому что блин, у шефа Дарпы ключ-карта первого уровня. Такое себе. Так, ну тут вроде особо ничего нету. Давайте позвоним вообще как мы, полковнику. Узнаем дальнейшие инструкции, что нам лучше все делать. Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Так, что ж, осталось спасти последнего. Это Бейкер. Бейкер у нас где находится? Нам говорили этажом ниже, если не ошибаюсь. Двери шестого уровня. Так, а там и все смотрели, там вроде ничего нету. Тогда вызываем лифт. Б, Б2, да. Судя по всему, сюда. Сюжет начинает становиться более запутанным, так скажем. Так. Ой, это место я помню. Тут на склады оружия и небольшие ловушки в полу могут попадаться. Так, это что такое? С4. А, вспомнил. Надо же двери открыть. Точно не двери, а стены. Помните, нам говорили, что в некоторых местах стены замурованные. Поэтому... Я на самом деле, когда давно проходил эту игру, долго, не знаю, несколько дней, наверное, искал это место. Сейчас вам покажу это место, где реально находится. Надо ходить было от первого лица, блин, смотреть. И, короче, все, что только можно, обошел, осмотрел, блин. А это место у нас, так, кажется, вот здесь. Да, вот, вот это пятно, это есть та самая забурованная стена. Кто мог подумать, блин? С4, пластика взрывчатка, нажмите его, чтобы установить, нажмите нолик, чтобы взорвать. Так, поставили на стенку. Бум. И открываем потайной проход. Так, тут у нас радар почему-то не работает. Что это за место, я не могу понять, какая там, блин. Двойные стены на базе у нас. Хотя, по идее, мы сейчас находимся под землей. Так, и тут тоже на замурованная стена. Смысл его замуровывать, я не знаю, честно. Кстати, вон можно посмотреть. А, нет, не, не видно. Подождите, я, кажется, ошибся. А вон еще одна стена. Ни хрена их тут, блин. Видите, тут есть раз, и нам вот это нужно. Бум. 
боном связанный. Ну что ж, погнали. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Так, начинается небольшая стычка с боссом. Где он есть там? Убегает говнюк. Уже не помню, как его останавливать. Но он, сука, метки, видите, от стен может. Можно пробовать вот так вот, с светошумовая граната. Должно, по идее, сработать. И сюда, мать твою. Так. Теперь мы его... Блин. Вот ублюдок. Попали. Почему у всех боссов в жизни всегда больше? Нечестно. А у нас еще и Бейкер кровью истекает. И какой-то он все-таки не очень умный. Просто за ним кругами надо бегать. Давайте позвоним, спросим, что нам про него могут сказать. Got a question about Foxhound? Ask Dr. Naomi. Revolver Ocelot is a former member of Spechnads. After the fall of the Soviet Union, he apparently served in the Russian tax police's elite SWAT team. After that, he joined the SVR, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Agency, which was formerly a part of the KGB. But according to my sources, he was dissatisfied with the rigid system of the KGB and wanted to get out. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He's a gun fanatic and totally obsessed with cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns. He's also something of a sadist. He learned the most advanced torture techniques while he was with Spetsnaz. Yeah, he had plenty of practice. Lubyanka prison is located right there inside KGB headquarters. In a gunfight, reloading is usually the most dangerous time. But he loves it. Use that to your advantage. You'll have to take him out when he's reloading. Can you see where his number of remaining bullets is displayed on the screen? Wait for the right moment and then take him out. Так, вот нам, значит, подсказали. Надо атаковать момент перезарядки. Но у него еще 4 патрона, блин, осталось. Когда же он их собирается их тратить? Блин, бывший садист, как и бышник-то, а? Ацелот. Быстрый гад. Хрен догонишь. Так, один патрон, все, время перезарядки. Так, гранаты, я думаю, тут лучше не использовать. Давайте пробуем светошумовые все-таки. Действуют, работают. Попали. И он тоже по нам попадает. Так, не надоело с ним догонялки играть.
Так. Один. Давай еще один патрон. Да, это выглядит забавно. Солид Снейк бегает со стариканом каким-то... Так, а бейкера жизни, я смотрю, так и не уходят, в принципе. Поэтому я не знаю, зачем они добавили этот индикатор. Может в него попасть, можно как-то задеть, тогда они будут уходить. Пока что особого смысла в этом не вижу. Попался. Почти, блин. Так, сделаем так. Проверенный работающий способ. Так. Почти. Все жизнь у него меньше, чем у нас. Патронов у нас зато нету. Придется руками забивать. И сюда. А нет, вот появился ящик. Это плохо. Так, ну, вроде не сдетонировал. Все, еще один выстрел и все. Давай, раз, два. Готово. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That... That exoskeleton! Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. 
You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. 
I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... What the hell? Are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Так, ну тут какая-то, блин, мега теория на хрен за горло происходит. Все ключевые фигуры, которых нужно было освободить, погибли по непонятным нам причинам. Кстати, помните момент он сказал по поводу чистоты, когда нужно связаться с Мэрил, типа есть на обратной стороне диска. Судя по всему, это не на этом диске, который нам дал, а они имеют в виду диск с реальной игрой, блин, которую нужно было покупать, и там типа написан должен был быть пароль. Ну, я так думаю. У меня был какой-то, блин, пиратский диск давно, там такого не было написано. Поэтому подозреваю, что это именно так. Вот. Частоту, на самом деле, я помню. Если не ошибаюсь, 140 15 ее нужно будет вести. А пока что давайте отправимся в сторону... В сторону, в сторону, в ту сторону, откуда мы пришли. У нас есть ключ, карта доступов номер 2. И посмотрим... Что мы можем открыть? К тому же у нас есть последний заряд взрывчатки. Я думаю, вот эту вот секретную дверь можно попробовать, в принципе, скрыть. Не дверь, а стену, простите. Да, блин. Вон тут камера. Так, и тут у нас, в принципе, ничего нету, потому что там четвертая дверь и шестая. У нас нету таких ключей. Вот эта интересная штучка. Возьмем ее. Твою мать! Так. Давайте, кстати, позвоним инструктору, спросим, что он по этому поводу думает. First the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No. But there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. Ничего нового мы не узнали. Так, тут у нас уже начинают ходить какие-то, блин, охранники. 
Давайте немного пополним наши боезапасы. Всякими ништяками полезными. Патроны. Что у нас тут еще имеется? Ой. Вот это место, я помню, тут у нас лазер на самом деле. И для того, чтобы их увидеть, нужно было одеть тепловизор. Или закурить. Пока он курит, у него немного жизни отбавляются, но помогает тоже увидеть, в принципе, всякие вот такие вот лазеры. Места, которые мы не можем наблюдать. Так. Светошумовых гранат у нас, к сожалению, нету. А поднимать шум я тут не очень хотел бы. Пусто. Пусто. А, тут, тут, чуть не упали. Кстати, забавно сейчас выйдет вся дом. Скажу одну очень интересную вещь. Сюда мы, кстати, еще не один раз будем возвращаться. На этот склад, поэтому давайте пока уедем на первый этаж. Вот подозрительно то, что в комнате... Или... А, нет, там была дверь, там была дверь, точно. Блин, я просто думал, что они его замуровали со всех сторон и просто сидели, чего-то ждали. Да. Так, ладно, в принципе, давайте более-менее безопасное место по танкам звякнем. Это и Мэрил, если не ошибаюсь, сейчас частоту постараюсь ввести 140. 15... 140, 15. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay, you see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. 
Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl, everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little, a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Так, ну что ж, стало появляться, конечно, много вопросов, но так или иначе, надеюсь, на какую-то часть из них мы рано или поздно получим необходимые ответы. А на этом, я думаю, пока что закончить, потому что дальше будет очень даже непростой путь. Что ж, всем пока.